Hey, coaches, Joe Salas here. Got a special guest today, Flacille Blango. Did I hit it right? All right. You hit I'm, it right, coach. I've been practicing <laughs> that one. Hey, you know I've been on this, uh, this tear on uh, trying to get uh, middle school and rec ball coaches that do a great job of throwing the football. And I tell you what, I got, I got a high-level one today. That, and he's gonna uh, he's gonna share some some uh, no backs and some exotic formations. But he he uh, he is in a hotbed of talent and he uses it up. He's in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Flacio, go ahead and uh, and tell a little bit about yourself and talk talk about your YouTube channel a little bit, and then we'll get into the teaching. Okay. Yeah. I hey, appreciate it, Coach. Thanks for having me. Uh, love everything that you guys are doing, man. So, you know, just keep it up, Coach. Great job. So, uh, I am Coach Vasil Blango. I'm out of Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, and been coaching for about 12 years. So, um, as Coach mentioned, um, I have a YouTube channel that we just spinned up. Uh, I've had a lot of people asking about, you know, just throwing the ball around and, you know, just wanted to just kind of create a forum for everybody to just kind of take a look and just kind of see what we do share ideas and things of that sort. So my YouTube channel is called Game Ready Football. So Game Ready Football, just three words. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, you know, from our perspective, uh, we're out of Charlotte, North Carolina, as I mentioned, at Piedmont Middle School. I'm the head coach and offensive coordinator. I've been there for about three years now, going into my fourth season. And one of the things that we really like to do is just, you know, as I mentioned, just throw the ball around, run a lot of air raid concepts. And really just trying to make this thing fun for, you know, all of the kids. So, uh, you know, the, the, one of the things we try to do is just make sure, you know, we give these kids ownership and, you know, just kind of see how they take it. So, you know, we just give them a little bit at a time, build on it. And, you know, one of the things I wanted to make sure that we do is just try to dispel the myth that you can't throw at the middle school level. So, you know, coach, as, as you mentioned, you know, got a few cut up. Definitely want to uh, just kind of walk and talk through that. Uh, we could talk about, you know, how we practice it, uh, you know, how we game plan for it and things of that sort. So, you know, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, guys can, you know, continue to see this. And, you know, folks like, you know, Coach Mackey and Lasker and all those guys, man, that's, you know, really throwing the ball around and doing that at a high level. I want to continue to, you know, just kind of push that forward and, and you know, try to make you guys proud. So um, if I can, Coach, I'll just go ahead and uh, pull up a couple things. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, get going. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I, I, I actually got on your channel, and uh, you do a great job of throwing. You got a, a high-level passing attacks, and I think it'll really help a lot of people seeing what you do. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, and that was one of the things, too, man. We talked about, you know, just all of our air raid concepts that we do. We try to keep things as simple as possible. And as I mentioned before, once we – get the, 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 the fundamentals and everything that we're trying to do, you know, uh, going, then we'll just start building on top of that. And you'd be surprised how these kids, man, they'll just start, uh, you know, gravitating towards that. And what they really want to try to do is, is get more. So they want to, they'll start executing the plays. And if you tell them, Hey, you know, we want to add some, some more stuff, but we need to get these things right first, then, you know, the, the sky is the limit. So, you know, that, that's, Again, I just want to make sure we dispel that myth that coaches, you can throw the ball at this level. And, you know, I've even done it at the youth level at Pop Warner. So, uh, you know, I, I really feel like, you know, by us doing that and not just kind of lining up toe to toe and, and just doing that ground and pound football, which we won at two uh, before uh, as well. You know, I, I think it's starting to get a lot of kids out. Like I've had a couple of receivers in the past few years. They were basketball kids, never played football before, but, you know, they were athletes and can catch the ball. So you know, hey, let's let's get them out there. Let's teach them how to run routes and, you know, get them incorporated in the games. So, you know, I, I just think that, you know, throwing the ball is, is just something that, you know, we can definitely do. You just got to practice it. That's, that's pretty much what it comes down to. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Let me. Let me know if you see that, Coach. Yep, I got you. Okay. All right, so uh, the first formation I wanted to kind of go through is just uh, one of our bunch packages. Uh, we have a couple of different things that we like to do out of this, particularly our bread and butter, especially for the last couple of years, has been uh, our flip concept. So, you know, basically, and I'll show it here. So uh, for our flood concept, we just like to bring this bunch in uh, just to see how our defensive backs uh, try to line up uh, against this. A lot of times that we see, uh, you know, a lot of these guys, they'll try to play a little outside leverage of this, uh, the right receiver. 
and uh, you know they'll start sucking in a little bit, so we could just go ahead and, and run outside. So uh, you know, so for our basic flood is you know we'll have our our receiver. And I took this straight from Coach Mackey, Coach. So, you know, we try to make things as simple as possible. So we got a, a left receiver, our, you know, our right receiver. We got our F, Y, and then also our uh, tailback. So, you know, our, our right receiver, he's going to run that, that scoring corner. So we're really trying to uh, poke it over the top once we uh, try to figure out what this defensive back is, is trying to do. And then next, we have our F. He'll run probably about, you know, 10 to 12 yards and go out to the sideline. And then our Y, he'll just kind of pretty much run a, a lazy out. And then from there, we'll have like a little backside progression, which is always just that slant. And then uh, we'll have our tailback try to seal this in right here so we can get our quarterback rolling so it'll be an easy pass protection uh, for our kids uh, up front. So that's the other thing, too. As far as pass pro, we try to keep things as simple as possible. We only have three calls. And, you know, it, it allows for us to, to play as fast as possible. and try to keep the tempo throughout the game so as you can see here you know basically for our quarterback he'll roll out and he's really looking at this R first and you know most of our quarterbacks uh you know I try to you know tell them to take the take the first read you see if, if somebody's open just go ahead and give it to them and you know let them do their thing so you know we try not to be you know too complicated you know make sure we just get the ball to these these athletes and, and let them do their thing so you know as this quarterback he rolls out um basically he's got three options he's got short uh, middle range and long and at that point he's just really reading the corner because you know at that point the linebackers are kind of out of the play uh you know a lot of uh teams in our league they'll they'll run one high safety so uh you know we really just try to throw that ball to a spot and this is something that we practice every single day and you know really I'll, I'll do at least 10 to 15 minutes of seven on seven uh and just really getting our quarterback just comfortable with making the right decision so i mean these are just all easy throws for the most part coach because what we typically see, um, especially lately, is that they try to protect uh, the deep ball, which uh, gives our number two option, our number three option right here, uh, you know, opportunities to, to get wide open and, and make big plays. So I'll just go ahead and uh, jump into a couple of cutups here. So uh, as you can see here, we have a bunch uh, formation. Uh, we bring it inside. Uh, the, this particular defense, uh, they were actually uh, pretty athletic. So they brought this corner in, but he was still kind of protecting on the outside. And really, as I mentioned before, we really want to just uh, make sure that we're just uh, reading this guy here. Okay. Sometimes if he stays up, then we'll try to throw that corner. As you can see here, we'll have a one high safety. If he goes back, then you'll start seeing other things develop down the field uh, as it pertains to the flood. So I'll go ahead and run this through. So I'll stop it right here. So as you can see here, we're going to have three levels. I like to see a little bit more spacing by our number two, but we have, uh, you know, our left receiver, since we uh, went bunch left, he's running that corner route. Uh, my F is getting down the sideline, and then I'll have my Y. He just runs that lazy out. And typically that's most of the time who's uh, really open because these corners try to protect against that deep ball threat. So we'll give it there. Easy little pitch and catch. And then we just let our athletes be athletes at the end of the day. So, you know, just a, a little two yard throw, it, it's 10 yards, very easy. So I'll give another cut up here. So we even run this flood even on the goal line. So as you can see here, uh, still have the corner kind of sitting out on the island. We really want to just read that guy. If he stays up, we're going to throw deep. If he goes back, then we'll throw underneath. So that's, that's the rules that the uh, quarterback has. And again, we just we, we practice and rep this every single day. So, you know, uh, the, when it gets to the games, this is a, a easy read for these guys. So, again, I'll stop it here. As you can see here, this is the corner. He's getting tired of seeing this uh, this wide catch this little uh, flat route. So he comes up. And what he doesn't realize is that we have my F that's going right behind him for an easy touchdown. Boom. And this is just another look at it. Uh, again, we have the bunch on the left. Now, this is giving us a different look. This is a too high safety look. So, you know, basically, 
you know, one of the things we try to teach the, um, the quarterback is to have uh, just that recognition uh, pre-snap. So when he's looking at the, the defense, we'll try to see if it's too high safety. If it's a too high safety, more than likely it's either going to be our quarters or cover two look. And he knows that uh, with that being said, that, you know, pretty much that deep ball is going to be done and uh, the flat's going to be covered. So he needs to be looking at the F more than likely. So quarterback gets up, he takes a deep enough drop. He's rolling out, we're getting him moving. And as you can see here, now the F is coming open and we have these linebackers chasing, uh, you know, that F, which, you know, I'll take any day of the week. And again, easy pitch and catch for a big game. Okay. So, uh, so our next formation uh, that we have is our empty bunch. So I did want to show this because we run an RPO off of this particular formation. So, you know, again, we'll have, you know, everybody empty out of the backfield. Uh, I'll have my tail back in the slot. So a lot of the things that we'll like to do, uh, a couple of different things, actually. So one, we'll go ahead and still run our flood concept where we'll have these guys here here, and then our Y out. But the thing that changes is my tailback. So he'll run pretty much a straight fly to the middle of the field. And typically what happens, we'll have a, a center safety here. He sees this bunch. He thinks it's a flood. So our quarterback, he'll take and roll about, uh, usually about two to three yards here, get to the outside of the tackle. And then he'll peek to see if that safety is vacating the middle of the field to try to uh, guard this flood. And if that is the case, then we're going to throw it right over top. So also what we do as well is our RPO read, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we'll run a little jet sweep bar tailback. Um, a lot of the times we'll give it, especially earlier in the game. And then what tends to happen is we'll have, uh, you know, someone that tries to spy over that tailback to try to uh, get over top of these linebackers and get on the other side so they can have the numbers advantage. And then at that point, we'll throw uh, the backside slant uh, to this receiver over here. And I just give the, the opportunity for my quarterback to make the right decision at the end of the day. And again, we rep this every single day so it's easy for them in the game. So we basically what we do, we'll just have a linebacker here and really um, you know, in practice, we'll have a corner here too as well, but based on his leverage, uh, you know, we give the freedom for our uh, left receiver to just go ahead and, and make a slant whenever he feels is necessary to get to open grass as quickly as possible. So it's a really quick read. So uh, so I'll show a cut up of that. But again, like I mentioned, um, you know, I think that, you know, with these uh, with these particular clips, it's not difficult to do. But we got a lot of things that we do in these particular uh, formations that I, I really think that is is very flexible. And it gives us a lot of, uh, you know, continuity and, and gives us a lot of options of how we like to run it. So, like, even this year, uh, what we ended up doing, uh, we had a more of a running quarterback. And so we would, what we would do, we would either run this slant and we'll throw that. Uh, we'll do the, uh, the jet sweep. And then we even give an option for our quarterback to run, uh, you know, run right up the belly if he feels like uh, we have a numbers advantage or he sees an immediate hole. So, you know, just three options out of one play. And we really try to get as much equity out of all of the different formations that we run uh, just to, to, you know, make it more confusing for the defense. So I'll go ahead and show this clip real quick, Coach. So as you can see here, this uh, team had one high safety. This is our tailback right here. And pretty much what's happening here is that my quarterback, he's now going to read uh, what's going on and, and how they react to the uh, motion that we're about to have. So, you know, this team, we knew uh, coming in that they ran a lot of man, uh, especially just to try to, uh, you know, cover up receivers quick. So, you know, what my quarterback wanted to do is just to see if once we give it to the tailback, uh, you know, see if we can outflank them. If we don't outflank them, uh, then the next play when we run this, then he'll know that, you know, hey, I have an opportunity to pull it and then just go ahead and throw that slant on the backside and throw it to open grass. So let me go ahead and run it here. So ball's getting snapped. My quarterback's looking at what this linebacker is doing. So as you can see here, we have a lot of open grass right here, okay? 
a lot of open grass. So our outside receiver, he knows he just needs to win the inside and win it as quickly as possible. So what he ends up doing, he takes a, a couple of steps, plant hard on the outside, and then just go hard inside and just find the open grass, okay? So, you know, really, you know, even for this route, my slant route, we don't really give our wide receivers, we don't tell them, hey, it's got to be a, a four-yard slant or a six-yard slant or whatever. You know, you know, basically, we just tell them, find open grass at the end of the day. These guys, man, they play, they play football all the time, especially in the backyard. They know how to get open. So we just want to make sure we give the, these guys the, the freedom to, to make the right decision at the end of the day. So as you can see here, he pulls it. We throw it in the spot. Easy game, easy catch. And we're talking, you know, uh, a five-yard slant that turns into, you know, a 15-yard play. And the other thing t is, too, Coach, uh, the one thing, you know, I even realized even over more of the course of the year, especially at the middle school level and even, like, the JV level, typically uh, most of the teams, they put their best tacklers in the box. So, you know, the guys on the outside, we really want to try to force and, and give them – uh, a lot of opportunities to try to make t tackles on the outside because those defensive backs, although they can cover, you know, sometimes they're not the best of tacklers. So that's even more of a reason why we want to just go ahead and, and get that ball to the outside for a big game. Okay. Uh, and next, Coach, I'll go over this real quick, but I know uh, you had a, a coach on last week uh, about the quad formation, which is something I love to do. It's something I've done for the last three years, and I feel like it's just been something that's just a staple of our offense. Uh, for me, this is not even a, a pass play in my book. Yeah, I really, this is just an extension of our run. So really, you know, is we want to create this numbers advantage right here. And basically all we're doing is really just trying to get these guys blocked up on the outside. Typically what I've seen uh, a lot of teams, especially if we ran this against them for the first time, they don't get enough numbers out there. So we just get the ball out to the tailback and we go as quickly as possible and try to get upfield. Now, ideally what I do, I try to tell my tailback to catch the ball and try to get outside. And what we try to do is have this, uh, this right receiver, he'll try to wall this defender so we can get to the sideline and stay on the sideline because this is where all the tacklers are, are at. And, and, you know, we really want to kind of, you know, push it as hard as possible just to get to that outside. So uh, looking on the backside, uh, you know, we'll just try to take a look at this, especially uh, towards the, the, the late tail end of the game. What happens is we'll start having people overplay this quad because they're tired of seeing that, 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 that two-yard throw turn into, you know, 10 to 15 yards. So now it starts opening up uh, some options that we give on the backside. So, you know, I know Coach Jolly, he had, uh, you know, a few options that he ran off of that. But really what we try to do, because we get a lot of guys that are uh, – or a lot of defenses that run a five-man front, uh, we either give them the option to either go deep or you're going to run a slant just based on the leverage of that DB. So if that DB is off, go ahead and take grass as quickly as possible. Get a, uh, you know, get a nice throw, pitch and catch. We're good to go. Uh, that's, a, that's a big game. Make that uh, defensive back uh, make a tackle. And then, um, you know, once that defensive back, he starts creeping up, then, you know, we'll, we'll give them the freedom to, to run a deep route. Uh, just try to run a fly on the outside, quick, one, two, and throw the ball. And the other thing that we do too, Coach, is, is, you know, try to make it easy up front for our offensive line. But as we're doing that, uh, you know, one of the things we do during practice, I literally will put a defensive line on, on the line of scrimmage, and we don't have an offensive line. So I just have my center, he snaps the ball to the quarterback, and now the quarterback has to make a, a quick read as if, you know, a block got missed, he's taking that, that five-yard snap, he's turning, he's making a decision, and he's going. And that way, it's really creating that urgency for the receiver, especially on the outside of this quad, to make a decision as quickly as possible and get it and go. So I'll show a couple quick uh, cut-ups of that. Uh, as you can see here, we had a quad. This was the first uh, play that we ran against these guys. So as you can see here, they do not have enough uh, guys on the outside. So that is an automatic throw. We get that ball to the outside. And he is literally getting seven to eight yards before he even gets touched. And then we get a missed tackle. Goes for a big game. Next thing I want to show is that we even run this on the goal line. So, again, this is just an extension of the run. This is a high percentage throw. My quarterback, we just catch, flip your hips, turn, throw that ball to the outside, and then we really just try to stretch 
his tailback and get him to the outside, especially on the goal line. We want to try to get him to the pile line. So my guys up front, they know exactly how we're supposed to block it or should be blocking it. So we just want to get our hat on the outside tip of this corner to try to seal him. And then we just stretch it and get to the uh, front pile line. So as you can see here, he just catches it, go, done, touchdown. Okay, uh, next one, uh, just showing even another quarterback here. Uh, you know, we had a backup quarterback towards the late end of the season uh, this year. He was a, a converted wide receiver to quarterback. Uh, he played the step in the last two games, and, you know, we really just made easy throws and reads for this guy. So, uh, you know, he was able to throw for three touchdowns uh, in both of the games. So, uh, as you can see here, again, sometimes we feel like we still have the numbers advantage, even if it's three on three, then we can block up all three of these guys and then get the ball to the tailback. Tailback, he does what he do best, and that's just, you know, get the ball and go. So, you know, for me, uh, we got another defender right here. Uh, what this team tried to do, they try to split out that defensive end. They try to split out that defensive end so they can kind of try to help with the run because his quarterback took off a couple of times because he's a converted wide receiver. And then, you know, he's really just splitting the box and trying to help out here. Uh, quite honestly, it's a defensive end. I'm going to trust my tailback uh, to make the best decision at the end of the day. So. Easy throw. Ball's a little high, but we still got the catch. We got it blocked up pretty good. We got the safety chasing. And then now we just let our uh, running back just, you know, does what he do best. And then next is just another example of this. Uh, this team went uh, too high safety look. So what we did, we just got the ball out to the tailback. Again, this is a different tailback. But even a lane like that, we blocked it up really well this time. And look how big that lane is there, Coach. So, you know, hey, he's, he's going 10 yards before he even gets touched. And that's the other thing we do, too, is, is we really rep these wide receivers being good blockers on the outside. So, you know, uh, we have them sometimes, you know, throughout our practice, they go and work on, uh, you know, blocking fundamentals with our offensive line because, you know, one of the things is in our offense, our wide receivers have to block. So, uh, you know, we 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 be really physical up front. I love this formation. I, I think every every middle school team should run it, regardless of what offense they run, because it just it just um, forces the defense to declare. So I, I, that's I right. Like this one. That's right. And again, this is this is an easy pitch and catch. It's not a difficult throw. Um, you know, I even had you know I have eight year olds running this play. We literally had a, a mighty mighty team that I, I help on too. We installed this play and started running it, and it was, you know, very, very, very successful at that level. And then, you know, what we started seeing, which was cool for me, is that uh, we started seeing some copycats and, and some other teams starting to uh, deploy that. So I love that. I love the fact that, that, you know, we're just pushing each other and trying to elevate each of, each of the coaches and making sure that they get an opportunity to, to see some things different, and, and let's try it. I, th I would guess in the uh, with the eight year olds, you just move the bunch a little closer so the quarterback can still make the throw, but you get the numbers yeah. advantage anyway. Exactly, exactly. So that's that's basically what we do. We'll just move that bunch in. We just get the ball to the outside and 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 then just go. So it just depends on uh, how well that quarterback can throw. And then you know the the only thing at, at that level, we pretty much try to keep it on one side unless I unless we get enough reps with the with the quarterback where he can learn how to flip his hip so the one thing I've, I've found out is that you know having a right-handed quarterback him catching and turning and looking that way to, to make that throw is a little more difficult at that age but again it's still you know an easy pitch and catch uh once they get it down but again if you rep it you practice it they're, they're going to get it yeah it's always so, a, little, a little easier going to the left for those guys that's right that's right so uh, this is just another variation. So as you can see, as we mentioned before, uh, these guys uh, pretty much uh, started overplaying the quad. And now we have the backside read that's starting to open up. And as you can see here, this is the open grass. And again, my receiver, he's just reading the leverage based on this DB. If he's, you know, he's playing on the outside tip. So now we just, it's a quick slant. Uh, if he was up, then we'll just go ahead and, and throw it over top. So There it is. So quick little one-two step. 
Very easy throw. As you can see, Coach, this is just easy, open grass that we're throwing to. And we just get it and go. That's beautiful, Coach. I, 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 love, I love the way you do this. It's really uh, – really forces the defense to show their hands and they can't be right. We're getting a little long on the video. Can you, can you go ahead? You know, I, I, I love the exotic formations. Can you, can you show uh, your favorite thing out of that pirate formation? Absolutely. Here we go. All right. So real quick, guys. So uh, for my pirate formation, uh, basically what we're doing, um, you know, we just try to, again, as Coach mentioned, we just try to force their hands. So either one, we get this ball out to the tailback and we have a, a wall right here that we create and then we just go and uh, try to block up those corners real quick. We'll have this backside guy here, he'll run a slant. Um, there's been times where, you know, we even run a little jet sweep going back this way if they overplay it. So again, this is just uh, something that is just, you know, very difficult to, to guard at the end of the day. So uh, showing this real quick. So we have a tailback, he's going out uh, and going in motion. So we're just gonna get the ball out to this guy here, we have a lot of these defenders playing inside, so we have the numbers advantage there. Boom, catch. He doesn't even get touched, and he just walks in. And then just another look here, we just do this on a goal line. Um, and then as you can see here, there's only one defender here. So this is the first time we actually threw this out here during this game. So. This is typically what we see. We'll see everybody up in the box here. And we really just want to catch, throw, get that ball to the outside and let him just walk in, literally. Boom. So, and, and the guy that's playing uh, quarterback or taking the snap, this is just our F receiver. And really, it's, you know, again, he's throwing with gloves on. It doesn't have to be a, a great throw. We just got to get it out there and, you know, make the best of it. So as you can see here, uh, Coach, again, we just throw it to the outside. And I'll just let this run real quick. We throw it to the outside. He walks up. And we get easy yards. And this is just a changeup. We'll do this in the middle of the field. Uh, we'll just go a quick muddle huddle, and then we just break out and do it as quickly as possible just to uh, catch the defenses off guard. A lot of the times we'll get a lot of people, um, they'll call a timeout, uh, try to adjust to it, then we'll go to another formation and come back to it. So this variation right here, just wanted to show this real quick. Uh, we have the tailback right here. Um, so basically uh, what happens is we run this a couple of times, they'll start walking everybody up and they'll try to bust through this line. And what I end up doing is having this tailback, he'll step back, he'll take two steps back, we throw it backwards, and then uh, we'll have this receiver right here on the outside. He gets lost, and he just runs downfield for easy throw, easy catch. Whoops. Okay. Ball gets thrown backwards. Tailback takes it and literally just shot puts it out there, and that's all he has to do when he's just walking in for a touchdown. So. Um, you know, just a lot of these different things, man, as I mentioned, you know, I, I, the, the kids love to run stuff like this because it's fun. We're throwing the ball around. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of different things that, uh, you know, uh, the defense has to prepare for. And these kids really take ownership in, in wanting to run these, these exotic things and, and do things that typically a lot of other people don't do. So, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, it's just one of those things that's always been you know, fun to do, throw the ball around, and, and let's, you know, make the best of it. I'm always a sucker for the exotic formations. The, uh, I, I think, same thing. I think the kids love them, and, and you, can, uh, you can really uh, get creative with it out there and, and have a lot of fun. That's, a, that's another formation, no, no matter how you line up in your exotics. That's one I think everyone, every middle school team should have something like that just because it's, it's almost free yards the way you, you're doing it right here. It's still in coach. It really is. So, you know, that's just, again, we just have a lot of different variations off this. We rep this uh, at least a couple of times a week. And, you know, we really just take an opportunity to, 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 to work on lining up, getting the ball out quickly as possible, and just, you know, get it to our athletes and just let them make plays. Well, that was the beauty of what you're doing, Coach, is uh, almost every, every concept you showed, and I know you've got some more stuff, but every, everything you showed was just so simple. 
uh, easy throws for the quarterback, a way to, to gain confidence uh, for, your, uh, for your quarterback and for your, even for your receivers that you can take a, a, a short throw and turn it into a big play. And that's, uh, that's what coaches need to see. So I, I really feel like you're helping a lot of people uh, get, uh, get a little confidence in throwing the football. And I think, I, you know, like I always say, I think it's going to change everything when we get middle school guys and, and, uh, and youth guys throwing the football. No doubt. No doubt. So, uh, yeah, Coach, so those were – that's the uh, the empty and the oh, – excuse me, the pirate and the bunch uh, formation. Uh, you know, I, I got plenty of other things that we do. Um, you know, I don't know if you have time now or we can do it later. Um, but, you know, it's let's, just uh, – uh, Let's schedule another time to have you on because I know this video is going to go big. And uh, I'm telling you, man, you just helped a lot of people. Uh, all, all I got to do – is uh is see someone having success throwing the football and they're gonna they're gonna want some of it because it's just a lot more dang fun than three yards in a cloud of dust i appreciate right. you being on man and uh and like i said i want to have you back and i encourage everyone to go to your youtube channel i've been on there i i'm subscribed to your channel already and uh and it's it's super impressive of what you're doing uh and uh and it looks like everyone's having a lot of fun so i appreciate you coach yeah, Coach, I appreciate you having me, man. Keep doing what you do, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll definitely get back on and talk a little more ball.